Walking still in one place is a concept I've been wanting to try for a while. The secret is to basically film two clips. The first clip is just your legs moving, the second clip is your upper body, and then you combine the two clips. Use an object to lift your body off the ground for the clip of your legs. When filming the clip of just your upper body, make sure to stand in the same place where your legs were moving so it's easier to combine the upper body with the lower body. And this is what the finished result looks like. I added a couple of details in the background like the people running, the dog in the background, and these people in the background. I used a clone tool and a blank shot to edit out the shadows. Here are the different video layers stacked in After Effects. The top layer is the upper half of my body, underneath is the layer of just my legs with the chairs, underneath that is just the blank shot, which I'm going to use to mask out the chairs. To cut out the upper half of my body, I'm going to double click the layer and then head to the Roto Brush tool and I'm going to hover the mouse and drag it over the areas while clicking it that I would like to select and or rotoscope. And once you take your finger off the mouse, you have these pink magenta lines around your selection, which you could perfect by subtracting some of the selection by hitting option on your Mac keyboard, adding to the selection. And then when you click back on the composition layer, you can see the isolation of the upper half of your body, which looks like this when you hide the layer underneath of your legs. And now I'm gonna go to transform position on the layer of my upper body Body, and I'm going to just place the upper half of my body where it needs to be lined up with the lower half of my body. And then I'm going to select the pen tool at the top and go to the layer of just my legs and start creating my mask around just my legs. The reason why I'm using the pen tool instead of the rotor brush tool on the layer of my legs is so that I can keep the natural shadows from my feet on the cement in place. Now our mask is created and you can see there's kind of these lines that overlap the cement which don't look that great so we're going to fix that and in order to fix that we're going to feather the mask by 22 pixels so it blends together just a little bit better and then we're going to stretch out the roto brush line under the main screen so that the roto brush conforms to each frame and that it follows each frame even though you need to go through each frame carefully to make sure the rotoscope selection is in place and looking good. In the roto brush icon at the top, select the refine edge and brush that over your hair so that your hair kind of looks a little bit feathered and not super sharp and kind of jagged like these harsh lines. And you can see that's a before and after of using the refine edge tool. It just makes your hair look more natural like you were really in the scene. And that refine edge is just gonna automatically follow each frame. Now to blend these lines together on the streak. So I'm going to take our blank layer, nothing in it, and I'm going to raise that on the top layer, the very top. And then I'm going to the pen tool and I'm going to create a mask around the lines I want to blend together. And then I'm going to copy and paste that blank layer, place it the bottom layer so that there's a background copy layer. I'm going to perfect the mask with some Belzier curves on the dots and also position the mask in place. And then I'm going to the mask on the layer and I'm going to feather the mask with the highest amount of pixels as possible without blending the feather in with my body or with the chair. You have to be careful of that. So the right amount here was 83 pixels and then I'm going to duplicate that layer of the mask and place it on the other side and then I'm going to rotoscope this lovely couple in the background. This is what the final result looks like. When I posted this video on my Instagram, I used a song by Jewel called Standing Still. I hope this video was useful to you. Feel free to leave a question or a comment in the comment section below or just send me a DM on Instagram at Mandy Rosen VFX. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It would just help me out a lot. I would really appreciate it. Check out my other YouTube videos for more tutorials on Premiere Pro, After Effects, Photoshop. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. And as always, stay cool.